Hello everyone and welcome to the sixth episode of Let Your Voice Soar. It's been an exciting time here at Voice Soaring Studios. My instructional DVD and CD called Let Your Voice Soar was released last week and I'm so happy that people all over the world are now able to learn about the concepts of the Swedish Italian vocal technique for pop, rock and musical theater singers. So now, it's time to get back to sharing some very important voice soaring tips for you guys. You know, tension comes in many forms. There's good tension, which we need to sing. In order for the vocal cords to come together, there's tension involved. They're very similar to the strings of a guitar. They stretch and become more taut. That's good tension. And in order for the breath to become energized, we need to keep a bit of compression to keep it moving through the vocal folds. That's also good tension. But then there's bad tension, and that can come in many forms as well. So today, I want to talk to you guys about a form of tension that can really affect your singing in a negative way, and that is tongue tension. Tongue tension is something I've suffered with myself and something I see a lot of with new students. And it's an issue I will try to alleviate right away if I notice it in a new student. So first off, I want you to pronounce the five Italian vowels in this sequence. E, A, A, O, U. Now, I want you to place your finger on your tongue and pronounce the vowels again like this. E, A, A, O, U. Once again. E, A, A, O, U. Ooh. You'll notice that starting with the E vowel, the tongue is in a high arch position and it goes down incrementally when we sing each vowel. And we need that to happen, but we don't want the tongue to completely disappear when we pronounce the vowels. And we don't want it to stiffen up. When the tongue retracts too much, it's like putting a pillow on your pharyngeal space. Instead of sounding open and free, the voice sounds like it's suffocated. When this happens, the voice has to work harder because the space is closed. Does that make sense? If the tongue stiffens while you're singing a scale or a song, it can create a feeling as if you're belting every note. Have you ever had that feeling? So let me give you some really simple exercises to reduce tension in the tongue. First off, we'll start off with a gentle, non-aggressive exercise. Place your tongue between your lips like this. Hmm. So we're going to do a very simple glide from top to bottom on a five tone scale. Ladies, you're going to sing up here. And guys, you're going to sing down here. All right, let's start the exercise. Let me demonstrate how this works. Once again, place your tongue between your lips hmm, and start the glide. Now it's your turn. Let's take it up. Your turn. Take it up. Your turn. Take it up a few more. Your turn. Let's take it up two more. Your turn. One more. The 
next exercise is designed to free the tongue even more while accessing the resonance of the voice on the NG ring. Now you may think this is a very funny exercise, and it is, but it's very effective in reducing tongue tension. Let me demonstrate. It goes like this. Your turn. Let's take it down. turn. Remember, you're doing this on an NG. Your turn. Take it down. I know that's a really, really funny exercise, but it's so effective in getting the tongue out of that pharyngeal space, getting it free, taking weight out of the voice, which is so important, and developing the NG ring. Okay? Now, moving on to the very last exercise. And for this exercise, you only do one thing, and that's a number two pencil. Well, you can use any kind of pencil, actually. I like the number two, kind of like the ones you used in. Yes, that is a number two. <laughs> this is kind of like the ones you used in school. Um, some people use chopsticks, some people use a pen, but I really like a number two pencil. All right, so this is how it works. It's a really crazy exercise, but so effective. So make sure your pencil is nice and clean because you're gonna put it underneath your tongue like this. <sighs> I'm not really pronouncing any particular vowel. I feel a feeling of uh underneath the sound. So let's do this again. Your turn. Let's take it down. Your turn. Take it down. Your turn. Your tongue may feel a little sore after doing this because it's going to fight getting out of that pharyngeal cavity. It's going to really try to pull back. Now you can do as many variations of that exercise as you want. You can change it, you can actually sing an entire song with a pencil underneath your tongue. I love that exercise. It really frees up the tongue like nothing else. So there you go, three simple exercises to reduce tongue tension. Now if you're serious about singing, try to find a coach in your area who can take your voice to the highest level possible. If you don't live in an area with a great vocal coach, I offer Skype lessons to singers all around the world. If you're in the New York metropolitan area, I teach in Midtown Manhattan, and I also have a studio right here in beautiful Montclair, New Jersey. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions about this topic, please feel free to ask in the comment section below, or you can always write me at jeff at voicesoaring.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe. And check out the website for information about my instructional DVD and CD called Let Your Voice Soar. Until next time, keep singing and let your voice soar.